I decided I wanted to power carve a bowl for my dad for his birthday. And so here's it is in the beginning. You can see I'm making a big mess. It's all I used was the 36 grit sandpaper disc on the Milwaukee grinder there. And it made a ton of sawdust, but gave me a lot of good slow control for this little bowl that I was doing. Later on in the process, I go and to the store and pick up a few of the Arbor Tech tools, which you'll see here in a moment. But this bowl I did only with the sandpaper. So when I figured out that you didn't need the Arbor Tech grinder to run the attachments, I went and bought one of these <coughs> Arbor Tech attachment heads and put it on my Milwaukee grinder. And you can see here how it really aggressively removes the material. Um, as compared to just the grinding bit, the uh, sanding bit. <clears throat> This isn't the piece that I'm making for Dad, but since I didn't get much power carving footage of the bowl that I'm making him, I figured I'd put a little bit of footage in here of this next bowl I'm working on that I'm planning to be a deep cup with a, with a big spill over it. So we'll see how that comes out. Tech mini turbo plane that it's just a lot of technique that there's no cutting edge on the outside circumference of the disc it's only on the front face you can see me there plunging in and that's because the teeth are on the front so it's a lot of just learning um, the stroke of it and how to how to how eat different strokes remove different amounts of wood and leave a different um, finished surface <laughs> carving away here in the middle to make the spill over. It's a little hard to tell with the bowl clamped upside down like that, but I'm using the ball gouge. This is another Arbor Tech attachment. That, that whole silver disc is the cutting room. And you can see how I'm doing it one-handed here, but it allows you to really get into a tight radius and uh, carve. So Now back to the birthday bowl. We need to add a couple of coats of finish. So I went with the polyacrylic gloss. And uh, I think I ended up doing six coats with sanding in between. This is the first coat. And you'll see it comes out a, a bit darker when you apply it <clears throat> than it looks when it's actually dry. Um, but I think this piece of mango here has some really nice grain. I got lucky with how the grain diagonally went across the bowl like that. It all just kind of really worked out nice. So here's a little footage of uh, finishing the bowl.
after the first coat has dried, I've already sanded and now we're applying the second coat between each coat of the polyacrylic. I sanded with 320, 400, and then 800 grit sandpaper and then reapply. A total of six layers of the polyacrylic. Birthday was my first attempt at power carving the bowl. Um, all I used was the 36 grit disc on the Milwaukee angle grinder. That was the most aggressive thing I used, and then the rest I did hand sanding. One thing I did do was take the corners off with the bandsaw, but it turned out pretty good. And during the process of this bowl, when I went and bought the other attachments from Arbor Tech, and they would have made it easier, but I learned a lot doing it. So. Hope you like it. Happy birthday, Dad. Love you.